Okay, um, let's, we're gonna, well, I already created the uh, MySQL helper, uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna actually do it on, on well, I'm not gonna type it out while I record this because it's very self-explanatory, and w once you learn it, you'll never forget it. So this right here, actually, um, this, yeah, okay, these um, variables are just, the columns well except for aside from this one this is just a table name these ones right here are just the columns and the reason why they're public is uh, actually I got this idea from Lars that website that I showed you in the in the the very uh, the episode right before this one that way you can just reference this uh, class so you do mysql helper dot um, id column or id col and it'll you know to return this but you don't have to type this out and risk you know misspelling this and having some error and you can't figure out what it is so anyway that's really clever I like that and kind of use that in, in this uh, class right here and so anyway these are the column names and we'll use those down here this is the data database version and you need that because you have to pass that then down here um, and database name, same thing. You have to pass that in right here. Um, and the database name is just a file name. Uh, and then you just tack on a .db to denote database. Your create statement is just like a regular SQL create statement. It is create table, and then your table name, and then your column your column type in this case it's uh, the ID column is primary key and it's auto increment um, the title is this column it's just regular text I do not have a not null um, constraint on there same with snippet it can be null its position can be null and they're just all text um, and this is the constructor for this class and um, here's the context. You just pass that in whenever you want to create this class. And here's the database name that I was telling you about. So you just pass that in there. And the database version right there. And the on create, you just call db, which is uh, talking about this variable right here. Dot execute x SQL. Here's your create statement you just pass that in there the on upgrade you just drop the table first give it the table name and then you recreate it and let me show you what it would actually look like if you didn't have this so if you were to just create this class in the very beginning and you extend it and you do sql um what is this sql open helper It'll see, it'll give you this little red thing, and then you just click this, implement all of abstract methods, and it'll still give you red right So you have to say create, um, well, let's see if it'll, well, let's see. See, it says no constructor. It's because you need a constructor, so you just do my SQL, and then you just do this, and just delete all this junk right here. And then you're back where you were, and you just create those, um, those uh, variables, all your column names in your database, um, your version, uh, here's your database name, your version. This can be null. Um, so it's just some things to watch out for. And this thing, obviously take that out and replace that. Anyway, um, it's very self-explanatory. If you need to, um, let's see if I can open this. Here it is, so you can just pause it and look over it. Um, all right, I'll see you guys later.